I'm Shreya Srinivasan, and I'm an inventor in the Lemelson MIT Student Prize Competition. We rely on our skin sense of touch to manipulate objects, balance, communicate, and protect our bodies from harm. Despite the skin's critical role, current amputation techniques and prostheses offer no sensory feedback, leaving patients to struggle with daily tasks like buttoning a shirt or going downstairs. Frustrated, many abandon their prostheses. While sensorized prostheses exist, communicating with the body remains a challenge. Previous research strategies have electrically stimulated nerves through implanted hardware, but because there's thousands of nerve channels, anatomical specificity is difficult and stimulation can feel unnatural. I sought to engineer a neural interface that conveys a naturalistic sense of touch by redesigning the amputation procedure. The cutaneous mechanoneural interface is a new tissue architecture that harnesses natural skin sensors to relay prosthetic feedback. During amputation, skin flaps for sensory areas are preserved, cuffed by muscle graft actuators, and resituated in the residual limb. Prosthetic sensation is relayed to the muscle actuator through electrical stimulation. When the muscle actuates the skin, native sensors communicate the sensation to the brain. For patients with traumatic or existing amputation, regenerative grafts can be used to create these interfaces. In preclinical validation, the mechanoneural interface, interface sensed distinct pressures and vibrations, generating the same neural signals that normal skin produced. We're currently translating this through a clinical trial at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. The mechanoneural interface can be paired with commercially available sensorized prostheses, improving their utility, a $3 billion market that's expanding 5% yearly and can impact over 2 million amputees in the U.S. alone. The cutaneous mechanoneural interface is a scalable solution that can restore the essential sense of touch.